What's up guys? So today's video is sponsored by HH Insurance. I carry policies with them on both of my boats. Um, it's always really important to have great coverage on the water, but it's also important to have a policy that doesn't break the bank. So if you're looking to buy a new boat or if you have a boat already, need insurance or need a new one, um, reach out to HH Insurance. They're gonna give you a free quote in a couple minutes. And for a limited time, they'll also be giving you a pair of Everglades Fishing Company boots. Some of the best up and coming boots in the market. Reach out to them after the video information is below. Good morning, YouTube. Erica Lynn here. Welcome back to another video. We are fishing today, finally. I know it's been a while. Um, I've been trying to make some videos and some trips work for you guys, but the fish don't want to cooperate, so that's the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> so we're back. We're going to be hopefully doing some fly fishing today. I'm super excited. I'm coming to bring you guys out to one of my favorite spots. Um, water is super clear. We got a high tide right now. It should be going out for the rest of the video. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get some redfish on uh, eating on the outgoing tide. I just switched my setup. I still have the same Lamson reel, but I switched to also Lamson rod. Um, so I'm pretty excited to just use my new setup out here. Um, using a little bug fly first, kind of my go-to little dark thing. Um, I hand make these myself and let's see if we can get lucky today. I see some mullet, stingrays, bait. Alright, I just saw a redfish tail up in this grass. Oh, he's dead. He's right there. There's two. I got a sheep head here. Thought he was gonna get that. He like raced over to it. The sheep head are just so hard to catch out here. Just in general, they're just a difficult fish to even one get to eat and then they have all those teeth to get past but they're always just perfect sitting targets. It's hard not to sometimes. Got a whole bunch of flies with me today. Just so you guys also know what I'm using. I'm using my seven weight. Um, we got a taper leader here of 12 to 15 to 20 um, and then 30 before my fly line. So trying to go super stealthy here on my tippet. So the only thing we can do is keep switching up flies and see what works. I got a red coming in front of me, moving pretty fast. I can't see him. Oh my God, I just saw him swipe on it though. That glare came in at just the wrong time. Another little sheep head. Oh, I see a red sitting back in that hole. Oh my god. 
I can't believe I just choked on that. It's not really moving as much as I thought it was going to. So most of these fish I'm finding are kind of like laid up. All right, I have a lone redfish just sitting up here. Let's see what he does. He's turning towards me. All right, we need to switch because I've literally had two perfect shots and they don't want it. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I knew one of these would eventually work for me. Oh no. Nice right up in the shallows. Fighting hard. Let me try to put the pole in. Persistence, guys, persistence. I've had so many shots and they just weren't wanting to eat. Finally switched up my fly to something a little different. And first shot, he was all about it. This high tide paid off for me to come up in here in these marshy shallows. I still got some water depth in here and the redfish were just post it up in these little corners. That water is cooling off and they're getting so feisty. You know, you can tell from summer when it's, the water is a lot warmer. They don't fight so hard. Sick guys, look at this. Finally got it done on fly. Got our redfish we were looking for. And oh my gosh, he just had the smallest. What the heck? It's a remora, but it's like the smallest one I've ever seen. Look at this remora that was on him. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Usually they'll stick to you, but let's go ahead and get him back in the water. He put up a great fight, and that hook is right in the corner of the mouth there. All right, let's get a good release. success. <laughs> I'm so glad that just happened. We got our redfish on fly. Um, I still have a couple hours before this tide's going to push me out. So black fly did it. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a couple more. Yes, the second one in the same spot. <laughs> nice one. Oh, he came over and crushed it. As soon as I dropped it in his face. Dang, you didn't even need to put the, take the pole out. Let's see if I can throw this back in. Okay. He's got a little more room to run this time. 
the last one like had me up along the mangroves. As soon as I pulled that anchor pin up, I saw him and one other one cruising down towards me. So I was able to get a shot out right in time. Here, I thought this wind was gonna push me out of my good spots. Found a brand new one to make it work. I can see his blue tail from here, it's so cool. Yes! <laughs> Dude, I think I see another little remora on this one. I see him like, at first I thought he was tagged. Check this out guys, hopefully he stays on. Check that out. See how he's like on his belly there? It's a little remora. Usually you see those on stingray sharks. Um, they'll hang around with bigger uh, fish like that, but <laughs> two for two on a remora that's on a redfish. So little. Let's go ahead and throw him back in. All right, awesome guys. Let's go ahead and get this fish in the water. Another great hook set, more in the bottom of the lip on that one. Beautiful blue tail on these guys. Yes. Hell yeah, guys. High five. Oh, that was awesome. All right. So Harley even had to pull my little power pole thing up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that there's a few more around here. I'm gonna get my line back out here and try for number three before we gotta head out of here. The tide's gonna get a little too low for us. Right, so here's the first official look at my South Dade 16 foot skiff. South Dade did an awesome job on this build. They did this custom for me. Um, so just like the last one, we got the chilling motor on the front, the push pole along the side. But a little different from the last one, we got a center console on here, a steering wheel from Hunter Addiction Charters with a Garmin as well as Saltworks did a great job on this plate. So I got nav lights internal lights, bubbler, and a bilge. They did run a bubbler into here, which right now I'm just using for storage, but it's also can double for like shrimp, something super simple like that. Atlantic Marine Trailers did a great job on this custom trailer as well to fit the skiff. And just like on the last skiff, I got a 20 horsepower. This time I went with a Tahatsu that's connected to the on-the-fly jack plate. That's automatic with the switch on the toggle of my throttle as well as trim tabs also that is so convenient the flats here when we're running skinny and i absolutely love my skiff so if you like the video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time i have a lot more fishing trips planned for you guys so y'all stay tuned so ideally here i'm can you even see me right now <laughs>